Lost Count and Talk, back with another video from Isolation. We've changed it up a little bit, so we're doing a, a ranking video. We're going to be ranking kits from well, all over the years, really, all the way back to uh, early 80s. Um, so we're going to rank them in an order. What order are they going in, Tom? So if we love it, it's going to be Where to My Wedding, then we've got All the Way Down to Wouldn't Even Purchase. Um, I don't know, there's quite a good selection of kits in this one, so we'll have to see where I put them. Yeah, a few vibrant colours in there, aren't there? From the away yeah. kits. Yeah, so we're doing six home kits, six away kits. Um, so I'll hit it off with last season's home kit. Right, let's have a thing. I like the shirt. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, like the, I like the yellow trim. Yeah, it, it's a very sort of classic shirt for me. You, you know, when you look across like the, the home bitter uh, home shirts. Very yeah. sort of similar uh, idea, same colours, um, but there's a lot of negativity around that kit. It's crazy what a season can do because I, I remember buying that kit thinking this is going to be, like you were thinking it was going to be a promotion season. Uh, it reminds me of wearing just wearing the shirt, sh short sleeve, first few games of the season thinking, yeah, this going to be a good one. Like, yeah. like you said, I don't know. For me, it's just well, it was, as soon as we were a few games in, it was starting to feel a bit iffy, wasn't it? But I, I don't know. I um, think for that, it's a lot, of, a lot of negative connotations for me when I look at that kit. I, I would say it's just about wearable. Yeah, I'd agree with you. I'd, yeah, I'd wear it on the odd occasion, um, but yeah, a lot of negative memories for me. Let's go with that then. Just about wearable, right? Next shirt is the '99 to 2000 away. It's I've got all it. We were. Yeah, like it's your it. little shirt of choice, isn't it? One of my favourites, yeah. I, I think... It's a very nice it, shirt. It's impossible for me, personally, to, to, to say wear that to your wedding. I, I don't think it's quite up there. No. I, I think... I, I would say it's up there, though. It's, it's a banging shirt, that is. Yeah. Um, yeah. If we ever bought that back from the way kit. So it's going in definitely up there? Yeah. 100% great shirt. Right, next, 11-12 home shirt, the feeler one, where Notts finished seventh in League One. Yeah, it's um, it's a strange one, isn't it? Because it does come away from the sort of classic black and white stripe Notts kit. Mm. In saying that, I like it. I have got this one as well. I do like this one. It's all right. Um, I'm not a massive fan. Um, I can see. I can see why people wouldn't be because you know you do like to to stay with the sort of classic sort. Of... The bottom half reminds me of a garden fence. Like, <laughs> yeah, it just looks like someone's put a garden fence to the bottom half, and I'm can't yeah. see past that. It's a yes. Would you if say it's look... sort of in the middle? Yeah, because if we look at it in the context of the home shirts, it's coming up again later on in the video. It's got to be. Just yeah. about wearable. I mean, it is. A, it's a decent shirt. It's seventh in League One. It's the best finish for years and years and years. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's just about wearable. Yeah. Sure. Um, we'll go on to the next one, which is the 2012-2013 away, which is the it's like the orange and black hoops, isn't it? Yeah. So I like it. Got connotations. Very... It's been like one of the first shirts not as wore, wasn't it? Yeah. Like this yeah, 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 yeah. So that that was originally one of our first sort of colours, wasn't it? So I really like it. Yeah, I do as well. But would you wear it to your wedding? No, no, I wouldn't. It's definitely up there now. It, yeah, it's a very nice shirt. Yeah, um, definitely up there. Yeah, definitely up there. Right, cool. Right, next one we have the ninety-three, ninety-four home shirt with the home bitter um, sponsor. I'm going to hear off and say. Wear it to your wedding. This, this for me anyway. I don't know about other Knots fans, but I, I do like the older Knots kits. This one is probably one of my favourites. Yeah, I'd agree. The older Knots kits are the better. Yeah, for me. I think a lot of Knots fans as well do like that shirt. You do see the odd uh, sort of fan wearing them still. I know. Obviously, you got. It's a classic. Yeah, it's ne it's nearly well, thirty years old nearly, isn't it? So if someone's still wearing a shirt that's that old, it must be. It must be a good one. So I'm, I'm going me, to your wedding. What do you think? For me, I like when I was out having a walk over there. I saw saw some guy wearing the the Man U sharp sharp sponsored shirt. That's iconic. I feel like this is kind of the same 
if you see someone wearing a shirt like that, no one's going to think, oh, this is horrible. Yeah, yeah. Where, where it's my wedding. Yeah, I think we're agreed on that one. Right then. Right, next one. 16, 17 away. The pink. I don't like my Brooks sponsor. Mm, I'm not, I've got nothing against pink. I've got a few pink t-shirts myself. I'm not. I wouldn't even purchase it. No, I wouldn't. I just, I just don't like it's, it. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's it's like, it? A shade of pink. It's called Greeny sponsors, well, isn't it? Which I was dead set against. That. I don't like that. Yeah. Um. I think we're agreed on that one, though. Definitely. Definitely, no, would not even purchase that shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah. Um, next one then. We are the home eighty to eighty one season. This is the the Adidas Originals kit, isn't it? It's just got the three stripes. Um, it's a tough one for me, this because this very is nice very 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 sought after. I'm in a page on Facebook and it's like not memorabilia. Um, and even in some of the not groups on Facebook, people are always trying to sort of dig out for them. So you've got, you've got a nice mag bar badge. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, controversial and I'm gonna say it's definitely up there rather than where it's my wedding. I don't think for me there's not enough going on. Yeah, no I would agree. I was it's it's close but it's not quite there for me. So I don't know there's something about it. It's just not but it is a nice shirt. So definitely up there. Yeah. I think I think that the thing that, that makes the home bitter one the uh, what is it, ninety three to ninety four is the sponsor. Yeah, but yeah, we'll move on. Yeah, and it's like got kind of messy stripes on it, hasn't it? Like the the big yeah, blocks yeah. right down the middle. It's just nice. More of a design going to it, I think. Right, we're moving on to the O eight O nine away, sort of a Blackburn Rovers style half and half. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> nice, nice blue color. Not a fan of the sort of brownish maroon. Mm, um, yeah, it's sponsored decent. Yeah, it's uh, it, it is it's a nice, it's nice to have a bit of a variation. I think sometimes it is, but I'm not a huge fan of that. No, I'm not. So oh. back of the wardrobe, back of the wardrobe. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. That it, it's just it's not. I haven't, I haven't. To be fair, I haven't seen anyone wear that to a game for years. I don't think I've seen I don't know if I've ever seen it. No, I know, yeah, since that season. I don't think I have to be honest. That's a good point. That's not a good shirt. No. Nah. Not as bad as the pink, though. I don't know, I like it because it's random, isn't it? It's weird, but... Yeah, it's nice to have a variation, like I say. Yeah. Right, next one. It's the 83-84 home. Now, I think this is the Admiral one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. For me, Admiral puts it in where it's my wedding instantly. Yeah, I, I like it, actually. It's, uh, it's very nice. Another sought-after shirt. Admiral, Admiral shirts, they remind me the Admiral England shirt yeah. from years ago. Uh, they just make incredible shirts. Yeah, they do. They know how to make a kit, don't they? So we're agreed on that, aren't we? Wear it to your wedding, yeah. What a shirt. Oh, next one. Nine, ten away. Do you know what? It's, a, it's such a tough one for me, this. Real positive year, but it's sort of glazed over with the badge. You know. I just hate that badge. Oh, yeah, I do. It reminds me of Soul Campbell. It reminds, yeah, it reminds me of Soul Campbell, Hans Backer. Um, I can't remember what the money was. The, the company was called Monto. Monto Finance. That's the one. Reminds me of a pound coin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice. It's a night shirt, not with a night shirt. Do you know what though? The it, badge is what I mean. it, It's nice, but there's just so many negative connotations around it. I can't but put it. A positive promotion as well. Yeah. Yeah. What are we thinking? I, I, I can't put it up there. Definitely up there. I just can't. I th I'm going for back of the wardrobe, personally. Yeah, I'm going back of the wardrobe, yeah. Because it, it's it's just block blue. It's not as nice as the blue one um, that you wear on the videos. Yeah, it's, it reminds me, the, the badge kills the whole kit for me. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's my thinking, exactly. Back of the wardrobe. Two yeah. kits left. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the next one we're doing is the home 91 93 very similar to the the which was it 93 to 94 obviously there's only a, a, a season in it there but again one of the ones that is right towards the top because it's just such a classic shirt it's so nice isn't it yeah um 
I don't know, the stripes are like the difference between this and the 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 other home bit of one is the stripes are just perfectly uniform, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, for me, that's what makes the other one that tad better. I know this is this is tough for me. I think definitely up there. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. There's something just stopping me putting it in the way it's my wedding. Yeah, I, I just. just like the like the design more of the um, the ninety three ninety four. So that's why it, it goes in there. But yeah, definitely yeah, up there. Definitely. Final one is the Jack Grealish thirteen fourteen away and the McGregor. Yeah, that that's as soon as you see that kit, that's what it reminds you of, isn't it? McGregor yeah. and Grealish. It's it's another odd odd color combination that works though. Yeah, I do like this kit very much. How can we not like it when the players that played in that? Exactly, yeah. yeah. But if you're looking at the definitely up there section, it's not as nice as any of those. No. And, and I, I wouldn't... I do like it. I don't know, it's hard, isn't it? But I wouldn't really wear it. No, I so, wouldn't. But just, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to but support it's, a ranker kit because it's not just the kit, is it? It has so many. Yeah, yeah I think I think for me it's just about wearable because yeah. Yeah. it's it's. I wouldn't have worn the the half and half like maroon and blue, but it's definitely better than that. Yeah, definitely, and it's definitely better than the Munto badge. So yeah. uh, just about wearable. Yeah. Right, isn't it? that is all twelve kits ranked. So to be fair, I enjoy doing that, and I'll definitely. Like to rank some more last kits, to be honest. Yeah, we could definitely do more. There's there's plenty to choose from, isn't there, over the years? But yeah, there's a good selection there. Some that, like George said, are sought after. Um, some that aren't so sought after. But yeah, it was, it was good to do a bit of a, a different video where we're ranking kits. If you agree with any of them or disagree, let us know in the comments. Um, and let us know of any of the kits you would like to rank or any other like thing to do with knots that you'd want us to, to do another one of these ranking videos on.